The H3 podcast is begging for a defamation lawsuit from Andrew Tate. Today, we're going to cover all of the juicy details. Andrew isn't banned. He's in every H3 video. H3 has gone on the offensive against the most hated man on the planet. Ultimately, right. what he advocates yeah. is for violence against women. Yes. Criticism against other creators is important and essential for creating the best environment for all, but we're going to analyze why H3 has stepped over the line and should be punished for it. On April 8th, 2022, Ethan began his attack on Andrew Tate while interviewing Brittany Broski. So scary, actually. <laughs> yeah, it's a little scary. He's actually a sex trafficker, and that's epic. Yeah. No, literally, this dude is like a deep-rooted misogynist. Like, scary. His claims weren't completely unfounded. Romania's Directorate for Investigating Organized Crime and Terrorism said the raid on the Tate's house was part of an investigation that began after a woman was reported to be held at the house against her will. As the probe continued, it escalated to include other crimes. Five days later, Ethan included another clip about Andrew Tate and what would become a reoccurring topic on his podcasts. I was talking about our boy Cobra Tate. Cobra. We had such a fun time making fun of this guy. Making jokes about someone as polarizing as Andrew Tate is innocent at what makes YouTube fun, but Ethan also became very comfortable calling him a criminal. But they're obviously very bad dudes. They literally yeah. kidnap people. They're criminals. I don't follow Andrew Tate, so I'm certainly not defending any of his rants in this video, but I think it's important to call out Ethan's behavior as crossing the line. It gets worse. Also, it, what's interesting about my money is that I made it by uh, not human trafficking people, so right. that's a bonus for me, I think. <laughs> on Tuesday, April 27, a spokesperson for the Romanian Policy Agency added that no one has been charged or arrested yet in the case, but that the investigation is ongoing. This video was streamed on May 2, 2022, after the release of the news article stating no one had been convicted, yet Ethan's words indicate the Tates had been. To date, Ethan and the H3 podcast have talked about Andrew Tate in at least 22 separate podcasts. For a crew so interested in silencing him, they sure have given him a lot of free marketing. Ethan tweeted, Dear free speech champions that defended Andrew Tate, tell me what you think about this. I just got a cease and desist letter from Andrew Tate. He demands I stop talking about him. Thoughts? I think this brings up an important conversation around free speech, lawsuits, and where the line is drawn between YouTube commentary for laughs and defamation. Yeah, so here's the expectation of what... Uh Cobra Taint does, and here's the reality. He's actually on the school bus. <laughs> oh, no. He, he, like I said, he grooms, he gets them young, mm -hmm. and just like a model scout, uh, you know, for his webcam get thing. Where does the line get drawn between colorful, funny commentary for humor and defamation of character? Because that clip, to me, crossed the line. Saying he grooms kids to become sex workers in his business is not exactly just an opinion. Even if you hate Andrew Tate, I hope, I hope, I hope that you want to live in a world where someone can't make baseless criminal accusations to this extent against you without paying a penalty. Freedom of speech is a principle that supports the freedom of an individual or a community to articulate their opinions and ideas without fear of retaliation, censorship, or legal sanction. I can post videos about a bad experience at a restaurant stating my opinion why I thought the food tasted poorly, but I can't start making false criminal accusations about the chef and why the food will cause cancer if your kids eat it. Defamation is the communication of a false statement that harms the reputation of another. There is no such thing as a false opinion or idea. However, there can be a false fact, and these are not protected under the First Amendment. I don't understand that. They're like, no, they kidnapped us and forced us into prostitution. They're like, okay, cool, well... You know, go go have a fun time, guys. At the time of this clip, the news was fresh and the investigation was underway, which allows for a lot more leniency in the determination of facts. On August 25th, 2022, I happened to stumble on this video of Tim Dillon as a guest on the H3 podcast discussing Andrew Tate. If you take yeah. into context also that he's done sex trafficking, does it change your opinion? Well, listen, 100% if he's doing sex trafficking, mm -hmm. well, he then is. that's... He a, is. Notice how they make the claim that it is a known fact that Andrew Tate is a human trafficker. He has not been convicted of a crime, therefore it is not a statement of fact, therefore what they are saying is defamatory. A day prior, Andrew released a 73-minute video which includes a detailed account of the accusations surrounding the trafficking story. I do not like false accusations of criminal activity. That's another thing that I really do not like. The following day, H3 released a stream titled Andrew Tate Cries and Begs for Forgiveness. Ethan enters the metaverse after Dark Number 81, where they react to Tate's final message video. I guess it's not even necessarily a supercut. Uh, there's some parts that are relevant to us that... Uh... I was thinking for... All... all right, well, three minutes. That's about all I can stomach of this. Yeah. I was watching their video, just curious what they had to say, until this next clip played and I nearly lost my mind. 
recently rebuilt an entire orphanage because there's an orphanage problem in Romania. I did this. You didn't build an orphanage. Shut up. The Tate Foundation. That's probably just a funnel for sex trafficking. Sounds like something the FBI should look into. Yeah. For real. This man has an orphanage? Okay. <laughs> can we, can we please <laughs> alert the authorities? You're making me nervous. I was disgusted to hear how they interpreted this situation. Do you understand how insane your mind has to be to hear that someone privately had an orphanage and he's using it to commit heinous crimes against children? Assuming Tate can prove that his orphanage is not being used for the crimes alleged by Ethan, I think Ethan should be held liable for significant damages. Messages of thank yous from the children and the woman who's running it. I did this months ago before anybody disliked me. I didn't even tell anybody. I just rebuilt an orphanage and didn't use it for positive PR. Didn't try and put it on the internet and get a good spin from it. Didn't try to get likes. What upset me just as much is that H3 didn't even have the respect to watch his entire video. They watched a curated three minute edit that cut out everything important. And then they accused him of criminal behavior. I find it very hypocritical when these hate mobs come and say I'm a bad person, when I'm the one who's out here spending his money and time trying to help the world and all they're doing is telling their followers to insult me on my instagram page which one of those two things has a genuinely positive effect on humanity this type of behavior by h3 is disgusting i like them but i don't agree with the way they're handling this i don't want to live in a world where someone can make such insane defamatory remarks that millions of people see and not face any repercussions all right well three minutes that's about all i can stomach of this yeah. additionally if you're going to ruin someone's reputation at least have the decency to do one hour's worth of research my house was raided by police under accusations that a woman was being held kidnapped. In a defamation lawsuit, the defendant is found liable if there is malice and there's a complete disregard of the truth. If Ethan were to get sued, he would have to provide proof as to why he came to the conclusion that Tate is a human trafficker, along with all of his other claims like grooming children like he was R. Kelly, because he and Gila have been stating it as fact. In Tate's final message video, he shared the camera footage of the police investigation and claimed the accusations were false. Turned up and investigated as they should, and they found out that it was completely false. That nobody was kidnapped, nobody was held against their will. I was not charged, I was not released on bail. I have no criminal charges in Romania, England, America, any country on the planet. I have no accusations against me for hurting women. And people are still on the internet saying, he's a human trafficker, the Romanian police are trying to get him in trouble for human trafficking. That's not true. Ethan is absolutely liable for defamation damages if Andrew decides to sue. Until further evidence or reporting comes out, the H3 podcast has shown a complete disregard of the truth. Ethan then wrote a tweet that included defamatory remarks towards Andrew. Whether you like Tate or not is completely besides the point. This is a really important matter because we should all want to live in an environment where if someone makes false, heinous criminal accusations against someone, then they should face adequate consequences. And I've said this many times, but people continue to ignore it and continue to purport the lie because that's how the internet works, right? They continue to just keep pushing the lie because it gets more clicks or because they personally don't like me and they want to use it as an excuse to pretend I'm a bad person. I don't know, it, listen, if you, what he's doing, if it's human trafficking, 100%, that's There's a, no if. That's it, a, he, yeah, no, look, I know is, nothing about look, that. Yeah. And if I had actually hurt anybody, the Romanian police would have me in jail because they are a nation, a European Union nation with a strong legal system and they would lock me up. They have not done that because I am completely and utterly innocent. They investigated as they should and came to the correct conclusion that there's nobody here and this was a false call, a false alarm. Well, he also he does, does like his whole Hustler right. University is on like a pyramid scheme. I He's just <laughs> oh my man. God, you run a pyramid scheme, dude. Operating a pyramid scheme is illegal and is a felony, which you could argue is another false criminal accusation made by Ela. I made a video detailing why HU isn't a pyramid scheme. It wasn't that complicated to find out with just the minimum amount of effort. When you're a defendant in a defamation lawsuit, you need to present evidence why you made defamatory statements. What was your source? How reliable do you consider that source? And what evidence do you have to justify your claims? H3 never joined Hustlers University. They don't have any sources. They haven't interviewed one victim of this alleged pyramid scheme, even though it would be millions of views. They have all the incentives in the world to interview all these victims of Andrew Tate's pyramid schemes and his other behavior but haven't. Their only proof for the HU being a pyramid scheme is some people had an affiliate link, just like every other product every creator promotes. It's yeah. worth noting, first of all, they put a 24-hour deadline on this to remove all offending content. 
Andrew hasn't officially sued, but I'm fascinated to see if he does. H3 has won a couple of defamation lawsuits already, but I'm very curious to see them fight this case. It feels like H3 has plenty of ammo with the numerous videos Tate has produced sharing his extreme opinions, but none of that really matters in this specific case. They've essentially stated he's a criminal of certain acts without evidence, and the case would revolve around their ability to prove he's a convicted criminal of the specific crimes they're alleging he committed. Anyone that was following this knows that Andrew Tate has been crying about his right for, to free speech. Ethan, this is not hard to comprehend. Freedom of speech does not include defamation. I was taken from my house. They came into my house at 5 p.m. They did a forensic search, as they should. Uh, at 8 p.m., the search concluded. They took me from my house at 8 p.m. for paperwork at the police station. And by 9.21, I was back home. And that was the end of it. Nothing's happened since. No woman's come forward. Nobody's hurt. Nothing. I am the free speech king, and I declare that <laughs> here and now. <laughs> I'm pretty disappointed to hear that Ethan doesn't understand the concept of the First Amendment not protecting against defamation. It's not exactly complicated. H3 has featured or mentioned Andrew Tate in at least 22 separate episodes. I'm not a member of the Manosphere red pill world, so certainly don't take this video as a ringing endorsement of Andrew Tate's reputation, but I think it's important that we as creators maintain some decency towards each other in regards to criminal accusations. If Andrew's attorney is competent, I think this is a pretty easy case to win. I am your king, your ruler, the one true god of free speech. Tate plays this character of the biggest alpha male on the planet, and sending a cease and desist is basically a threat. Ethan is clearly showing his indifference to this threat, which means that the ball is back in Tate's court. If Tate doesn't sue, then Ethan ultimately won this battle and would have more ammo to clown on Tate. But if Tate does sue, then we're in for a fireworks show, and I can't wait to see what gets found in Discovery. Thanks for watching.